Welcome to the latest version of Windows CE.NET, version 4.2. What we're going to show you today is the Platform Wizard. This user interface here is called Platform Builder, which is integrated into Windows CE.NET. We're going to start the Platform Wizard by choosing a new platform. You can do this in a number of places. Down here on the Start page, choosing New Platform, or up here under File, New Platform. And what this is, is it opens up the Platform Wizard and provides us seven easy steps to building a custom operating system. The first step here is just an introduction to the Platform Wizard. The next step is where you can choose from a number of different board support packages, or BSPs. A BSP is a development kit that lets you select the target processor and also includes any device drivers to enable you to do software and hardware development simultaneously. Under the available BSPs, you can either choose one or multiple BSPs, say select the ARM integrator or the Samsung SMDK2410. I'm going to choose ARM. You can select these both, so now the ARM hardware manufacturers can be developing the BSP and hardware in conjunction with the software development. Clicking on to step three, you can see that we can choose from 12 different pre-configurations. These are design templates to enable you to build one of these devices quickly. I'm going to choose the Enterprise WebPad. So I select Enterprise WebPad, and then I'm going to name my platform. Mule underscore demo one. I select next, and in step four, we can choose from a variety of different applications and multimedia services. As you can see here, there are a bunch of components that are pre-selected, or if I choose not to include something like ActiveSync or the .NET Compact Framework, I simply check off the box, and the component will not be included in my operating system. I can go through and see the number of different types of file viewers. If I open this box here, and you can see that we've got five different file viewers to include in our operating system if we choose. Um, we can also choose an Internet browser. In Windows CE.NET 4.2, we, we support Internet Explorer 6.0. So I will select the components that I want in my operating system and click Next to Step 5. Step 5 allows us to choose from a number of networking and communications protocols. You can see here that we've got local area, personal area, and wide area network support, including TCP IP support, as well as IPv6 support. If we expand these options, you can also see that we support remote desktop connection and a number of different protocols and services associated with that technology. We also support in the personal area network, Bluetooth and IRTA, as well in the local area network, 802.11. Now, once you've selected these different technologies that you want included in your operating system, you then click Next to Step 6. Step 6 just provides a notification acknowledgement of different types of, of components that you'll pull into your operating system. And finally, Step 7 says that you've completed the platform wizard and gives you two different build options. You can either build or modify your specific custom operating system. Then you click Finish, and this will add the selected features all to the left side of the screen with your custom operating system that you've just developed in the platform wizard.